Hi, we're Art and Bree. Four years ago, we left the city to buy a 100-year-old farm to turn it into our own productive homestead where we can grow our own food, build a healthy life, and raise our kids just how we like. If you want to join us in our homesteading adventure on our small farm, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you. Food. Yes, my food. That's my food. We're sharing. <laughs> Yummy, thanks. What's cooking good looking? I'm just making some pulled beef for tacos. That sounds good. Yeah, I need a bigger instant pot though because I can only fit one roast in here. And we need two roasts. Um, I don't know. An okay. eight would be a big upgrade. Yeah. Yeah, this one's too small for our family, but it's blessed us so much. The two years we've had it, it's been great. <laughs> I always jump. Okay, go. Okay. Hey guys. Hi. What are y'all doing? Eating some peppermint. Eating, pe <coughs> eating peppermint. <coughs> That's the pig getting shot by a fence. What are you gonna do with the rest that you're picking? Put making it into tea. Oh, that's a great idea. So you're gonna bring it up to the house? Yeah. Good plan. Did you give the pigs any grass? Can you give them a little more? Mm -hmm. Go over where it's nice and long, like right there, and over there, and right there, and get some big chunks, okay? They love it. Okay, Bree and I had a disagreement the other day. I want you to help us settle it. Actually, that's too dramatic. I, I don't want you to help us settle it. I want you, your opinion. Because the other day, we tried to sell a goat, but Bree had actually nicked his foot while she was clipping his hooves right before it left. That's Sweetie, our sweet little baby goat. I mean, he's not a baby. The other day, Bree and I were both looking at him on the same day and saying, I said, I think he's limping a little. And she said, no, I don't think he's limping at all. That's how goats walk. Ah, so I don't know. I generally test, trust Bree on her animal instincts because she's super good with this stuff. Come here, goats, come on. So what I'm gonna do is film Sweetie running across the pasture and um, I'll just see what you think. And I'm, I'm watching myself. Hey, come on. Here goes, here goes. This, so here's Sweetie. I don't know. So what do you think? I, like what we're looking at is just the subtlety of asymmetry in his pace. He's not like keeping his weight off of it or anything. This is kind of my conclusion watching him today. If I were just to see that goat in the pasture, walking across the pasture, I would not even think about it. But what I'm doing is watching very carefully for that asymmetry in his gait. And I think I see a tiny bit. <laughs> but who knows if, who knows? Maybe he always walked like that and I would never notice it. But I'm watching so closely. There's a name for that. I can't remember what the name is. There's basically a bias that affects you because of what you're expecting you may see. Alice already got her grain. I brought her a grain a little while ago. These guys are waiting for their hay. I'm coming through. Look, you need to get back a little. Step back. Alice is done with her grain and she's down here like, let me in. What is, what's going on? We got fresh salt out here for them this morning. Things are still spicy out here, and I don't know what's going on, but it's, you know, it's okay. Whatever it is. But someone's in heat, and I don't know who it is. Or Braveheart is just a little bit extra Bravehearty this week. Bree and I haven't actually even talked about the behavior I've been seeing in the goats, but one of the does is in heat, and Braveheart's all giddy. This is like two miles for an hour. Dad, how much? See you, Bright. See you, Justice. I just thought of something. I keep talking and talking about our fermenting course and our content, but I've n 
never actually shown you what it looks like. So why not, I'll just take you on a quick, probably one minute visual tour of our course and what it actually looks like on the inside. So we'll go through and check it out. Welcome to Fermenting Foundations. We're gonna go over the big picture of what fermenting is. We're gonna talk about benefits that you may get from fermenting. Each recipe video has equipment lists, ingredients, and step-by-step -step instructions that go along and match the video. This is all about how to make sure that everything is going exactly as it's supposed to. Hey guys, welcome to our monitoring your ferments video. And here's another great PDF resource. It's a troubleshooting guide that shows nearly every problem you could have, the symptom, the cause, prevention, and a fix. Week two covers fermentation health, a sauerkraut tutorial, a chow chow recipe. It's going to peel and then crush our garlic cloves and throw those in the bottom of the jar. The safe zone that's under brine, that's anaerobic, that's acidic, where nothing can go wrong is much bigger. Here we're talking about alternative root cellar spaces like this window well for long-term storage of fermented foods. If you want to get in on the course, you have till this coming Sunday night, November 8th at midnight. Thanks for considering. Okay, I've got several hours now to jump into the house and move this gut forward. Today I'm getting into the moldiest part of the house. I actually don't know that for sure because that's the whole deal. It's a, it's a mystery as to where all the mold is. Even the back room that was just like, the walls were full of mold those first days of gutting. There weren't really any big signs there was mold there, but all right, here we go. I'm going in. That's exactly how I feel. Okay, this is the floor I want to tear out. But before I do that, I want to finish this room off here. Round this room off by knocking the ceiling out. I spent the last 20 minutes cleaning the ceiling up here, cleaning the floor. I want as little stuff as possible just to fall into the space below this floor when we cut it out. So here's this kind of big moment. I've been waiting to cut this floor out because this floor should have the most mold under it. It's my guess, I don't know. It's on the north side of the house and it's on the side of the house closest to the ground. There's two layers of subfloor here. I thought I was gonna have this floor out in like 30 minutes. It's probably gonna be a lot more. Okay, that's a setback. It's not a setback on the house. It's a setback for my ego, so to speak, and my goal for today. So I took a short break. I'm thinking it through and I think I figured out how to do it faster. Instead of peeling off that whole first layer in piece by piece, it's coming off in tiny pieces. I'm just gonna cut through both layers and try to take them off in these big chunk sections. I think that'll be the fastest way to do it. So <laughs> that's now, let's do it. Okay, this is working, but it's going in slow motion. And as you can see, I'm still just tearing it one little board at a time because they're so well nailed. When you're dealing with this old wood, 
is so hard and the nails hold so well. This is crazy. These two studs just broke spontaneously. And you can tell they broke recently because this isn't very dirty here. But I also suspect that those were probably cut out of the same tree, out of the same slab. And so they had exactly the same grain. And they just happened to be put in the wrong spot and notched the wrong way. This floor is just creaking along. I don't think I can finish it today. I think I'm gonna quit in a minute. But sometimes it's a choice between working earlier and working later. And I still have animal chores. Lights. Lights. <laughs> Hey, sweetie. You are a sweet goat. <laughs> I think probably one of the most common questions I get asked when I tell people that we make YouTube videos and tell them how frequently we do it is how do you come up with so many ideas for videos? And the short answer is, I mean, I don't. We pretty much film what we do. Now that doesn't mean I have a shortage of ideas. I have so many ideas to make videos, like lists of dozens and dozens and dozens of ideas. That's not my problem. The problem is just the time to do the work that it takes to create those videos, the type that you would have, like, oh, well, let's make this video, that would be fun. But practically, some days, our videos are just short, and that's how it is. I could cram something together and make this video a lot longer, but I'm not gonna. What I'm gonna do is just edit and go to bed on time, and get up tomorrow and go at it again. Mm -hmm.